in this lecture we will learn about solving recurrence equation or recurrence relations okay and this forms a very important part in analysis of algorithm because most of the algorithms which involves recursion so they need we need to write first the recurrence relation to get the complexity of that algorithm so most of the times we will get some equation of the form tn where tn is the time complexity of that particular algorithm and n is the input size so tn is a into tn by b plus fn where a is greater than equal to 1 and b is greater than 1 and fn is some function of n okay so what does this mean that in order to solve the problem of with input size n we subdivide that problem so we make it into divide it into a sub problems and each one of them of size n by b okay so a sub problems and of size n by b okay and plus fn amount of work that is extra okay so that is involved in each of the function call so now what happens so let's see so to solve this we can use a simple substitution method so with substitution method what happens is that tn is so we will see with one example so let's say that okay tn is 2 tn by 2 plus n okay so this is also of this type that okay tn is a tn by 2 plus n where a is 2 b is 2 and fn is n okay but we will try to solve it using substitution method so let us assume that okay this is not required but for simplicity in solving let's assume that n is a power of 2 okay so n is 2 to the power of k where k is some positive integer okay so now we can write that okay tn is 2 tn by 2 plus n this is there then we can have we expand again tn by 2 can be written as 2 tn by 4 so replacing n by n by 2 so it is 2 tn by 4 plus n by 2 and plus n of the previous term so it is now 2 into so this is 2 tn by 4 plus n by 2 plus n okay so which comes out to be 2 square tn by 2 square plus n by 2 plus n okay so now we can write tn by 4 is equal to 2 tn by 8 plus n by 4 okay with the same this expanding in this way so now what happens so this now becomes 2 square into 2 t n by 8 becomes 2 q t of n by 2 q plus n by 4 plus n by 2 plus n okay so this way we find some relation that okay 2 to the power of i t n by 2 to the power of i plus n by 2 to the power of i minus 1 so here it was 2 cube then here it was 4 is 2 square so n by 2 to the power i, I minus 1 plus n by 2 to the power of i minus 2 till n by 2 to the power of 0 so this way and it will keep on going up to what so we are dividing it into 2 so n by 2 cube n by 2 to the power of 4 n by 2 to the power of 5 and it will go till it becomes n by 2 to the power of k because after that it is t1 and you have no problem of input size less than 1 so that is the base case so it will stop at 2 to the power of k t of n by 2 to the power of k plus n by 2 to the power of k minus 1 plus n by 2 to the power of k minus 2 till n by 2 plus n okay so now let's see so this one n is 2 to the power of k so this becomes now this 2 to the power of k means this is n and this is t of 1 okay so this is done okay t1 is some constant so this is c n but this one is now also it's difficult okay so we have to sum this geometric series 
we can do like that or can we be a little easier okay so this is now n 1 by 2 to the power of k minus 1 plus 1 by 2 to the power of k minus 2 till 1 by 2 to the power of 0 so we see there is 1 2 and it is there are k terms in this bracket okay so now what we do so and all of them are we see that they are less than equal to 1 because 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 16 like that so all the terms are less than equal to 1 so we can write this as directly that okay this is less than equal to n into k so this is there but now what is k so 2 to the power of k n is this so k is log of n to the base 2 so this becomes it is less than equal to n log n so now overall it is n t1 plus n log n so it is o of n log n so this we could solve that that algorithm is tn is o of n log of n so good but that's that's quite involved okay isn't it so we did so much of mathematics and then we came to the answer and this was a simple equation okay so if you get something difficult so it's not very preferable method when we have really shortcuts called master's theorem okay so what is master's theorem so if you have you analyze an algorithm of the type recursion and find that okay tn is a t of n by b plus fn where a is the greater than equal to 1 b is greater than 1 so there is a full proof method so you have direct method that tn can be bounded asymptotically as follows okay so if now what you have to do you have to compare two things okay fn and then n to the power of log a to the base b so that's important you calculate n to the power of log a to the base b and now we compare fn with n to the power of log a to the base b so what happens there are three cases if fn is o of n to the power of log a to the base b minus epsilon where epsilon is some constant greater than zero so it means what then you can directly say tn is theta of n log a to the base b okay if fn is theta of n log a to the base b both are equal then tn is theta of n log a to the base b into log n okay that is the case two case 3 is if fn is omega of n log a to the base b plus epsilon means it's greater than n log a to the base b and another thing is if a f of n by b is less than equal to c f n where c is less than one some constant for, for all sufficiently large n then we have we can directly write tn is theta of f of n so this is very good succinct formula which you use then you will have your life very simple so let's see and this is called as regu regularity condition so it's very important and if you see so we will see with some examples so first example t of n is 9 t n by 3 plus n okay so this is again of the type t n is a t n by b plus f of n and what are the constants of that a is 9 years so this is a this is b and this is f of n okay so a is 9 b is 3 f of n is n so now we need to calculate what we need to calculate n to the power of log a to the base b so here it is n to the power of log 9 to the base 3 so it is 2 so this is n square okay and this is fn is n so now we compare fn and n to the power of log a to the base b so n fn is now what fn is now n and it is less than n to the power of log a to the base b which is n square so this is o of n to the power of 2 minus epsilon where epsilon is equal to 1 so in this case we can write tn is directly it is theta of n square okay so this will be the answer you can directly write next let's see another question so tn is t of 2n by 3 plus 1 okay so this might be a little confusing but we can write this as 1 into t of n by 3 by 2 plus 1 okay so which means a is 1 b is 3 by 2 
and fn is n to the power of 0 which is 1 okay so now again we compare n to the power of log a to the base b so a is 1 b is 3 by 2 so log of 1 to any base is 0 so this is n to the power of 0 which is 1 and fn is also 1 so fn and n to the power of log a to the base b both are equal so it means what tn is theta of log n n to the power of log a to the base b into log n so now this is n to the power of 0 into log n so it is theta of log of n okay so that's the thing so we will take one more example of the third case so tn is 3 into tn by 4 plus n log n okay so fn here is n log n a is 3 and b is 4 okay so now again we find n to the power of log a to the base b so n to the power of log 3 to the base 4 it approximately comes out to be o of n to the power of 0.8 okay so now we see fn is and fn here was n log n and this is n to the power of log a to the base b is n to the power of 0.8 so which is less than fn okay so it means fn is omega of n log a to the base b so it is now pointing to the third case but don't forget to check the regularity condition so we check is a into fn by b less than equal to c into fn for some constant c less than 1 okay so we find so we put a fn by b b c so 3 into n by 4 we replace n by n by b so which is n by 4 log of n by 4 so now it is 3 by 4 n and log n by 4 means log n minus log 4 to the base 2 which is 2 so this is 3 by 4 n log n minus 3 by 2 n so now it is less than equal to 3 by 4 n log n so c is here and this is n log n is our fn so this is less than equal to c into fn where c is 3 by 4 it is less than 1 so this is correct and in this case the case 3 tn is theta of fn so which is theta of n log n okay so these are the three cases we consider so you just have to find fn compare fn and n to the power of log a to the base b okay so these you have to compare so after doing this so we started with our problem that was tn is 2tn by 2 plus n so we and we had a very tough time solving that equation so now let's see what master's theorem do for us so fn is n a is 2 b is 2 so n to the power of log a to the base b is 2 to, log 2 to the base 2 so this is n okay so now fn is so theta of n log a to the base b so both are equal fn and n to the power of log a to the base b it implies the second case and i can directly write tn is theta of n log a to the base b log n which is n log n okay so see wow it's so simple so thanks master's theorem for solving it in such a simple manner so i hope you like this video and understand it so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot